And my first guest joins me this week via satellite from New York City, Mr. Richard Kurtz. He's the chairman of Lapola Industries, stock symbols LPAD. Uh, Richard, very good to talk to you again. Hey, Don. Nice to talk to you, too. Pleasure. Uh, Richard, uh, Lapola Industries describes itself as a leading manufacturer, a supplier of spray polyurethane foams and acrylic coatings. Uh, can you give us another general overview of the company, please? Sure. Uh, we are based out of Houston, Texas. We currently manufacture all our products there. We have 79 employees from A to Z. Uh, we are specifically concentrated on manufacturing polyurethane foam and coatings, which is really a special area. We have certifications, specifications that are difficult for anyone to get. We manufacture everything in Houston. We have really passed all the regulations which are difficult to pass. And we are regulated very severely throughout the United States and each and every municipality. We run a tight ship in Houston. Uh, the head of our company is Doug Kramer. He's our CEO. Doug has been with me six years. We have a great team. We currently in Houston have 32 salespeople. We just put on nine new salespeople the last quarter, and we expect to put on another 10, 12 over the year. Our plant, which is very sophisticated, has great production. We can turn out probably five times more foam and coatings than we currently are doing. We anticipate we probably need another two to three years, and we will be building another plant. You know, Richard, I've always enjoyed the conversations you and I have had about the company. One thing that struck me is you often said your company is a green technology company that is working right now, generating sales and profits right now. Can you comment on that, if you would, please? Sure. A absolutely. You know, today we hear green and everybody has ideas and they're going to create a green company. We are green and we are doing business. We completed 10, 2010, with a little over $70 million. We were profitable. It was a 40% increase from last year. And our, our product that is everything that goes into the environment is and if you don't if you don't put it into the environment you are basically saving pollutants and all the the bad things that go into the environment when we put foam in a home in a commercial building in a retail building we're saving anywhere from 30 40 percent in pollutants and this is less going into the environment and if you take the 115 million homes in America, and if you reduce energy by a third, let's call it an average of a third, the area of green is amazing in terms of the environment being that much more friendly and, and cleansing. Uh, in terms of our product, we use, in many cases, half of our product is recyclable materials and that in turn is also green. So in terms of calling La Polar a green company, 100%. And we're in business and we are just moving ahead aggressively as possible. You know, you were last on the program in January and since then, of course, we've seen serious problems again in the Middle East and the price of home heating oil has skyrocketed in a pretty short period of time. I would think that you feel that La Polar's product is needed now more than ever. Don, we can beat the Middle East. We have the best kept secret in energy savings. Black and white, no question about it. We can save every homeowner, every bit of a third in their energy costs, every building owner, and the costs come back to them over a period of three or four years, max. We believe that the demand, the interest is just beginning. And, I, you know, when you watch TV, we all watch TV, the CNN of the world, world and so forth and so on. Um, we, we only hear about energy, the Middle East, Al-Qaeda, foam insulation. 
can beat them. We, we can not, no longer be dependent on the Middle East. No longer. We have the best kept secret when it comes to energy sa savings, and that is foam insulation. Well, as you mentioned a moment ago, you posted your end numbers for 2010, and like you said, the results are very impressive. Can you share us more of that good news with us, please? Sure. Uh, Don, as I said before, uh, we just posted on numbers. Uh, 2010 was a little over $70 million. We were profitable. We were up a little over 40 percent, and we anticipate 11 to be just as good, possibly even better. We're all very excited with what's going on. Now, you mentioned, of course, your CEO, Doug Kramer. He's currently on a trip in Europe. He's securing business in several countries. Uh, tell us a little bit about your overseas efforts. Sure. Um, what I really have been talking about is basically domestic. The demand is the same internationally. Doug currently, with three of our executives, total of four, they're in the Netherlands as we speak, and they're meeting with 17 different countries. These countries all have an interest in foam insulation. They have come to what we call the Lapola Summit. They have paid their own way. Uh, some of the countries are India, Czechoslovakia, Scandinavia, Norway, etc., etc. They all believe the demand is starting and this is the best way to save energy so we began the summit i spoke to doug yesterday he is very enthusiastic we believe within one year we will be manufacturing overseas as well well richard kurtz uh, if someone were to do a web search on your name they'd find out you're a very well-known real estate holder you have some fourteen thousand rental units in four states so i would think that you're very concerned with saving energy Sure, ab absolutely. Um, being in multifamily apartments, and I started this back in the mid-70s, I am very sensitive and I am very aware of energy costs because that's the one area that can throw your numbers down, you know, in the wrong direction, let's say. Uh, bottom line, uh, our entire portfolio, we spend approximately $15 million of energy. If we can save a third, and we are beginning to do that, we're talking about a $5 million savings. And if you really start to put a pencil to the numbers, once again, throughout the United States, we are talking about hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars of savings. And the beauty is that you can get your money back within a period of three, four years. Well, now, are there still tax incentives for residential and commercial property owners to, say, use Lapola products? Yes, Don, uh, there is. Uh, there are tax incentives from the government, from the Obama administration. There are incentives coming from each state. There are incentives coming from the utility companies. And there are also rebates. They're in numerous areas. However, the beauty of what I'm talking about is that if you didn't get any of the above, we still perform a great service and every citizen saves money. And that's without the rebates, without the incentives, but they are there and they can help. But the beauty is you make an investment and you get it back in three or four years. Again, Lapola Industries, L-P-A-D is their stock symbol. Uh, Richard, why is this a good time for people to take a closer look at your company? The biggest reason, and I talk about this to everybody at Lapola and everybody in my own business, that the demand has just grown. It grows not every week or month. It grows by the day. Energy costs are soaring. People must save money. And the demand is there. Right now with foam insulation, we're about 5%. It's going to grow quickly to 15 and 20 and 25%. It's there. We, we, have, we have a future of 10, 15, 20 years. But we believe over the next five years, this little company can grow substantially because there is a demand both domestically and internationally, and we will hit all those areas. So we're really excited. Thanks, Don.
Lapola Industries, LPAD is their stock symbol. Richard, we're reinitiating coverage of the company. Be watching you again very closely over the next several months. Uh, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it.